stories of Mountain Park. She goes, all right. There. I think we'll both I think be in it. If you lean in, you'll be yeah. in it. Yeah, oh, it looks like I'm in it. I hope you're in it. I hope that's a good way to start the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how our camera works. Ah, good day. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome Goodness. back. Goodness. Hey, um, we're going to kick off series two Are of we? our Road Trip Australia series. <laughs> Is it series two? Our second Se- series. Season two. Season two. Season two. There you go. We have forgotten oh. how to make a video. It's been 11 weeks. We've been in lockdown throughout covid and we've been stuck at the noosa river caravan park and today is the first day that we've headed off in the new car and the new van so good, good. and it guess is... what oh we feel like absolute bloody amateurs yeah I, it's it took weird. me forever to hook up um keep looking in all my mirrors yeah and, uh, i but... forgot to put down the tv aerial <laughs> that's that just happens all the time i know anyway. but extra so what do you reckon kids kids you're stoked to be back in the car true yeah. charlie style in the back there it she's snoozing it wouldn't be a, a video in the car without <laughs> charlie being asleep hey normally every time we're on a four-wheel track who's asleep charlie bear so it's season two let's get it right road trip australia we're going to stick in queensland we're going to show you a heap of different stuff we're going to do a lot of bush camping a lot of cool cooking segments because i've been learning a lot while we're stuck in lockdown and we're going to show you a lot about our setup and give you a lot of tips along the way so last year we had a big loop planned right and we took you all the way up wa and across the top of the country and it was a mad time oh, we had an absolute killer back. time and we want to say a massive thank you because everyone yeah. who watched that series has given us massive amount of good feedback mm. and everybody loved it we yeah. never expected for it to go so well and it's just been an absolute killer and we enjoy making them for you guys and we love having such a loyal cool audience that tell do. us about it don't mm. we hey we've been told we're becoming a household name where people sit down with their kids and what do they say what do you want to watch on a sunday arvo and the kids say yeah tripping event <laughs> how Which, cool is that it's super special for us we like that was I don't know. That, that just wasn't makes what us we feel expected. no, but it just makes us feel really happy, um, accomplished. Yeah. Whatever. It's just and yeah. stoked that our vids can do that because we yeah. love the lifestyle, and for us to be able to get yeah. you guys out there and enjoy what we do, uh, that makes us happy. And that's what we're trying to do: promote family travel and how beneficial it is for kids and, and your family life and your mental health. Yeah, everything. everything. So for you guys to sit down as a family and watch it together um, warms it's our awesome. hearts. Yeah. So, the last 11 weeks we've been stuck, but we've loved it. would say stuck though. Well, we sort of it's have been, been really but it's been the best place we could have been stuck. Stuck as in like, it's yeah. just been so lovely. So, if you ever get the chance, the Noosa River Holiday Park, mate, is absolute mid position, prime position, best real estate in Noosa, and uh, the people who run the joint are super lovely people and they will look after you if you can get in because it's so damn popular. Yeah, it's a great spot. So, first trip for us, we're taking you out to a place for a couple of reasons. Um, it's called Land Cruiser Mountain Park, and for one, it's an awesome bush camp, and we just want to get away from people and just sort of learn our new gear and show you guys about it. And two, uh, I need to learn how to drive this car. There's all these buttons and switches and dials that I have no idea what they do, so I really want to try and um, have do a crack at a bit of four-wheel driving yeah. before I um, I get stuck in it in front of even people and look like a numpty. So mm. that's, that's my biggest thing. I want to go and get confident with the car, do some camping, some cooking, get back to what we do we just we love this mate we love free camping and just getting out there so oh, i don't know i'm getting all excited now i'm talking about it <laughs> been wound up stuck in our little thing uh anyway that's it we've left noosa we've come south to the biwa turn off and we're going out through biwa peachester kilcoy woodford and we will be towards jimna at a place called land cruiser mountain park and we'll show you a bit about it so until then enjoy the road trip Giddy up. <laughs> Righto, oh, your first road trip and we need, what do we need? I know, we need coffee. Why is that though? Because I had a bottle of wine last <laughs> night and I got to bed really late and I feel a little bit under the weather and I'm hiding the bags. Did you share that bottle of wine with anyone? No, ah. I drank it all myself. There my favourite Whistler one. So it's like two o'clock in the Arvo, but I need a little pick me up. Give me a double A. Oh, you want one too, do you? <laughs> Skinny. Anyway, we're in Bila and I just normally Google coffee places and I look at the, the ratings it's always and the reviews. Though. It is, but generally it's not too bad. Or if I know I'm coming into a town, I do a shout out on Instagram and you guys always nail it. So thank you. <laughs> coffee. Righto, boys. First road trip in the cruiser. What do you reckon? Yeah. What are you watching? Ninjago. Ninjago. Do you want me yeah. to hook it up in here? We'll put it up here. Yeah. 
Irish. Come on, we'll show everyone how to do it. All right. What I've done is I've rigged up um, a little bit of a iPad holder slash media center for the kids. And um, I'll show you around the car and the van. I've used a lot of their gear and in the boat as well. It's called Railblazer. So you'll see me GoPro here is mounted on one with a few attachments. And then I've got another one up here mounted on the roof console. And then I can just clip things in and out. So the good thing is I can pull that GoPro out of there and slap it into that mount. Or I can put it on the one on the back of the van or under the van or in the boat. Um, it's really cool stuff, man. Eh? So I'll show you more about that. But anyway, I'll get this little media center rigged up for the kids. And I'll show you what it's like. It's killer. Hey? And then the worst thing about kids and iPads in cars is that they're looking down all the time. And I think that's really bad for their neck and their posture and stuff. So get it up there, get it so their eyes are level. And uh, I think you'll be better off. Because when you're doing a lot of Ks in the car, if they can all watch a movie, just one movie, so you've only got one lot of noise coming out, not three different movie noises like blasting your ears. Uh, it's good for them, but it's good for us too. So anyway, I'll show you how it is. So this one here is the Railblazer, uh, I think it's called device mount or uh, tablet mount, or something like that. You'll see this here, it's all fully adjustable, so it fits different sizes. And these little arms drop in and out as well, right? So I'll put them out. Rui, can I have that, man? I'll let this all the way down. And then we put his iPad. I haven't done this for a while, so wait for it. Why is that so? Here we go, you've got it all mixed up. It even fits with the case and everything on it, which is good. How do we turn that off, Rue? Pause. And then, if you watch this on the back, you can unlock this one. Sorry, I'm a Gumby. Um, close it up so it's nice and tight, and then lock that, and then push these ones shut. So it holds the device nice and tight like that. Move it along in the center. I'm making this look hard, by the way. It's really not that hard. And then, this here has got the, the mount on it, and so you can put it up in the, the lock. It's on a swivel as well. Oh my Gumby, there we go. And then you just click this across and it's in. And all you have to do, because oh, I am a Gumby at the moment, you adjust that up so it's at the right angle. That's the right angle. Like that, that's the right angle. And then, look at this, you can move it. Um, that way, if the kids unlock, is that an unlock? Oh, there you go. You can lock this swivel, so. If it's just one kid, you can move it that way or that way. Well, Charlie's asleep, so I'll slightly tilt it towards the boys. How's that, lads? Yeah, great. And then just uh, lock, which way? Lock that up. She's good to go. The boys can press play. It's like watching a little movie theater. So, happy days for the lads, eh? There you go, boys, that'll be 10 bucks. <laughs> what, what? Lock your head, it's hit and miss. Is it hit or is it miss? Or is it his or mitt? Um, I don't know, I think it's a miss. <laughs> oh well. Mm. It's gonna be better than nothing, I suppose. Mine's alright. I can't complain. It's alright, yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, let's go. This is where we are. We're in Biwa and we have to go all the way over to here. Which is at a place called Land Cruiser Mountain Park. Look at that. You know what the good thing is gonna be, dear? That I like. Do you know how cold it's going to be tonight? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm. How cold? Like one degree. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened here? Ah, uh, well, the uh, trusty old phone has taken us the wrong way again. I don't know how this manages to keep doing this. The settings must be wrong. But we have hit the first dirt road in the new rig and the new van. And uh, one good thing is that it's absolutely killing it. Hey? This cruiser is like driving a freaking limousine and we're pulling a four ton caravan. So stoked with that, plenty of go, plenty of power, and it's been a nice steep windy road to sort of wear her in, you know, break her in for the first time. Get to muck around, see what the van toes like. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's bloody smooth for a big rig. Uh, we haven't had the airbags before on, the, uh, on a van and then you can actually feel it. It feels different, like it's just not even there. So, anyway, the XT was good, but the airbags are even better.
Oh no, we are halfway there, about 34 k's to go. I think I've taken us the wrong way again because uh, we are at the top of this damn mountain and it is windy and a trip that was supposed to take two and a half hours is uh, already about three and a half hours in. So good one, Dad. Hey, first road trip back on and I've gone the wrong way. One good thing though, the rig has been killing it. The last 10 k's have been coming up this steep, windy stuff. And we're pulling like the van at the moment is fully loaded. So it's probably around four ton, I reckon, with all our gear in it. And the cruiser is just smashing it. So anyway, pull up, we'll give the kids something to eat quickly. Quick wee stop. Docky too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you weren't going to share that, were you? Anyway, and uh, I tell you, it is instantly about 10 degrees colder than it was at Noosa. So it's going to be fresh, but I reckon in another 35 minutes, we'll be down at Land Cruiser Park. So, righto boys, jump in there. Hey, um, don't do a wee in there, lads, because you'll feel the dunny. Do a wee outside. Oh, here she comes. Piggybacks. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> all righty so we've made it hey we found the dirt track and we've come down a couple of k's and here is the main gate entrance to land cruiser mountain park so good man sponsored by arb and i'll let you know a little secret sun seeker have um, got a bit to do with them as well they bring their vans out here and tow them over some gnarly tracks to um test them out so we're going to take you in here and spend a couple of days we're not going to do anything too crazy we're going to park up we're going to do some camp cooking and we're going to learn how to drive our Land Cruiser. Take a couple of the easy tracks, none of the gnarly stuff that we're going to break stuff. Um, but we'll show you what it's about. It's a beautiful spot out here. The weather and the bush is just epic. You drive out through all these fields and sort of cattle properties on your way out here. Now, in we go. Take us in. We'll get the fam out of the car. And uh, I'll put the Weber on tonight. Cook up a nice little treat for me and the Misso. And have a glass of red. Might save the campfire tomorrow, eh? Yeah! Look at that! New shazzy taking on the van. New van, of course. But getting dirty. We have found probably the most epic spot to camp on the whole property and we are on the top of the hill here they've got this little camping area that's reserved for sort of functions and um, group events weddings that sort of thing but there's no one here and it's not booked out so uh, because Sunseeker has a lot to do with them out here at the park and lucky for us we're partnered with ARB and they have a lot to do with them out here too we've managed to sneak out to this little section and uh, mate I can't explain it anything but perfect, hey? After 11 weeks of being stuck <sighs> at Noosa, which we loved, you know, it was cool. But this, this is me, hey? This is so good. Look, have a look. I'm going to do a slow spin so I don't make you sick. But there is no one here. That's me, hey? I can have a beer. I can relax. I can walk around. I can show you all this. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Look at this. There's cattle, there's deers getting around, there's a dam down there, toilets, showers, fire pits, and our van. Hey, look at that. What do you reckon, Rui? Yeah. yeah. So we got the kids have got their bikes off already, 
and they've made their own little downhill track. So my, um, I'm putting money on Charlie being the first one to stack it. So it won't be too long before they start crying. But I'll give you a quick look around the new setup because we haven't shown you too much yet. And the first trip we've done, we've got it all super dirty. Hey, we had to drag it about 20 k's down some dirt roads to get here. But this is her, mate. This is our new van. I'll give you a full tour in its own video of the exterior. We've showed you the inside. And I've also got a couple more build series vids to come out on this big rig. So I'm going to talk about the ARB stuff, the Norweld package, the battery fit out from Pro Touring, and also the boat loader, what we've used, and how it all's worked out, mate. Like it is, I'm stoked, hey? <laughs> it's been a long process with bloody coronavirus and that held us up. But I am so damn happy with this whole setup. And you know what? You don't even know that that big ass van is on the back of it. Here we go. Who's gonna be the first one to stack it? Go, Bill. Oh, here she goes. You wait. <laughs> I think you might need to put a helmet on, Bearsy. Put your brakes on, darling. There we go. One of them will end up in the dam down there. Ah, nice one. Come with me. I'm gonna show you the first time in history for us we've actually got a generator. So come and have a look. We're not gonna carry it all the time because we follow the weather, right? We don't usually need it, but um, we always get lots of questions and people wanna know what sort of generator to use. And without ever have used one, we can't really refer you to what we think is a good one. But so here's the story. The lads at Sunseeker actually get their own generators. So they run an, another website called ProTrek and they sell locks and scooters and generators and that. You might've seen a bit of the gear we've got and we'll show you throughout some more vids because we can give you some good discounts along the way, especially for the security stuff. But we can get you 15% off the generators as well. So in the front of our box here is a generator slide. And inside, I'll whip him out. There's the instructions. <laughs> and then in here is the Jenny. Now kind of look at that. It sits in there nicely. I haven't strapped it down. You probably should if you're going to do some off-roading with it. But it's a 2 kVA Jenny, and it will run your aircon and all that sort of stuff. So good for us because I'm going to pull it up the hill here and run the lead out, and we're going to just run it all night so we can have the heat up because it is freezing up here. We're like out the back of Kilcoy towards Jimna at Land Cruiser Park, and I'm pretty sure it's going to get down to about zero tonight. So part of the reason Beck allowed us to come out here <laughs> is that... We could run the heater. Now, normally, yes, the battery system in here can run it, but only for a few hours and we use it of a morning. Um, I'm already getting bloody chilly. I can feel it. So My hands are freezing. It is pretty cold, but I'll show you. It's quiet. Apparently, it's on par with like the Hondas and that sort of stuff, but they're only about 1300 bucks, and then we can get you 15% off. So we'll show you what it's like. We'll show you how loud it is and um, show you how it can run the heater. And if you need a Jenny, you might be able to grab one of these. Right -o. Let's crank it. It's getting cold, man. Eh? We were going to have a fire tonight, but we're a bit late. Um, I think I'll just crack the Weber out. And tomorrow we'll go searching for a bit of firewood. You're allowed to collect firewood here out on the tracks. And then uh, I'll have a, we'll get going early and I'll do a camp oven tomorrow. I've got something really cool to show you. Eh? <laughs> Check out the Weber setup. Anyway, you would have all known that we've had a Ziggy over the last few years, but I've always wanted to try a Weber. The biggest issue was the fact that I could never get it in a tunnel boot and I didn't want to carry an extra table and all that sort of stuff. So I've designed a little thing myself. It's pretty rough, but it works a treat. So I've got some draw slides and I cut the legs off the Weber. So look at this. She slides out, no dramas, with the lid on and everything. Uh, but you'd see in here, if you come in here, Rui, Jacko's got the camera. See how I've cut the legs off? And I've just mounted it on a bit of angle bracket. And then, hang on a second, swing through here. Still got the standard, the factory little drain dish. All I've done is cut a hole out underneath. So I can still pull that out. There's my little brush, hang on to that. I can still pull this out and empty it or do whatever or run the elf all trays in there. And then I just um, squeeze him back in. So there you go. And it slides away nice and neat inside the front tunnel boot. I'll give you this back, grab that room, and then I'll show you how to plug it in. So the standard Sunseeker comes with the gas bayonet just here. So all we need to do is pull him out, grab the bayonet fitting. You've got to buy one of these actually, they don't come standard with the Weber. 
I think it was about 30 bucks I got it from um, Anaconda or bloody, what did I buy it online? I can't remember, but they're about 30 bucks. Uh, if you want a longer one, they're a bit dearer. But you just plug him in, twist him around. There you go. And then flip this up. You gotta buy these too. If you didn't know, I was so annoyed. You get a baby cue, they don't come with the side state side tables. You gotta pay another 60 bucks. I'm like, come on. Anyway, flip them up, shut the lid, and crank him on. Now I can pull it out far enough to drop this one all the way down, but I find that it makes a good nice little heat shield and it sort of blows all the smoke off there and uh, it doesn't make the side of the van as dirty. So I leave that one there. If I need to put more stuff on them, I pull the slide out a little bit further, drop it down, and then I can sit another plate or tongs or stuff on there. But there you go, that's my baby Q, and it's killer. It works so bloody good on the side of the van. What are you cooking me tonight, mate? Uh, hamburgers on toast. Hamburgers on toast. Look at that, you're the chef. Now I'll come and show you. Okay. I've got a bit of a treat for the missus tonight. I load it up. Um, from the butcher in Noosa, um, Master Meats. Anyway, he's got a couple of butcher shops, but we've been going to the one at Noosa Civic, and this is some Jack Creek Scotch fillet. It's called Jack Creek, mate. Now check this out. Have a look at the look at the marble in it. Oh, I think it's a marble score three or something. It should be nice. I'm going to do these up on the Weber for the missus with a few veg. Hey, good stuff. And what a backdrop to cook a nice steak. Oh, look at this sunset. It's just insane. <laughs> Righto, dinner time and these steaks. Oh, look at that. I'll shut this off. There we go. Oh, we, me and Beck both eat our steaks medium. Um, or medium to well. But look at that. They look so bloody nice. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can open the door. Oh man, you better love me tonight, dear. Have a look at this. morning from Land Cruiser Mountain Park and I'll tell you what <laughs> it got down to about zero last night easily um, I'm glad we didn't camp any lower in the hills here because I reckon there'd be a fair frost but best time of the day is coffee time in the morning and check this day out hey clear skies like crisp mountain air there's been deers and cattle kicking around there's a little billabong down the bottom here that they pull up and have a drink at and mate, it was bloody brilliant. Apart from being freezing, it was brilliant. So what we did, I did do a run test on that Jenny for you, like I told you. We started at 5 p.m. yesterday and it ran until just after 1 a.m. in the morning. So that's um, five and seven is 12, eight hours. So I got eight hours out of it and that was running the air con and then we used the microwave and stuff um, for dinner and, and that as well. So. There you go. If it had a bit of fuel, bigger fuel tank, obviously you'd run it for as long as you wanted to, but that's the most we'd ever use one, if ever, you know, and only because we wanted to run the heater all night because it was so cold. Topped her up this morning and cranked it back on just to warm the van up for the missus and kids. And then once this sun peaks over the hill a bit further, I reckon it'll be a cracker day, like up around probably close to 20 degrees. And we'll go and show you around the rest of the park. So. They've got a lot of four-wheel drive tracks and different campgrounds. So we'll go for a bit of a spin, um, show you those. And we'll also, geez, that's nice, that sun. We'll also grab some firewood and then we'll have a bit of a campfire tonight. We'll move spots again so we can show you a different campsite. And I'll drop in now. I got some really nice night shots last night. The Milky Way was bang above the van and the car. So I'm liking it, hey? Land Cruiser Mountain Park, she's a ripper. How'd you sleep last night, lad? Great. Did you? Yeah? Oh, look out, who's this one? <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? Good. Did you? Were you cold? No. 
No? Were you cold? Oh, I was freezing. <laughs> you weren't freezing. It was so warm in there because we had the heater on. But it did get cold when the journey cut out at like one after one, uh, about 2.30 in the morning. I was like, oof, I was cuddling the miso, hey? And then we ended up with one of them, one of the kids in bed with us, but that was all right. Because our kids are like little thermal heat beads, eh? They are so hot when they sleep. So it's nice to have them on a cold night. Have a bit of a cuddle, hey? Mm -hmm. What do you want for brekkie? Um, whatever. Whatever, are you cooking? No oh, yes. huh? I'll be cooking. You cooking? A bit of coffee? Uh, yep. We've just been training Jack up as our little barista, so because we don't have a house and like normal chores to do, like mowing the lawn and other things yeah. like that. But uh, Jack makes us a coffee in the morning to get your pocket money, don't you? Yes. Yeah. They, they do it after um, like we mm. finish our chores. <laughs> He's bloody good at it too. He makes a good coffee. Mm. Mm. How'd you sleep, Bill? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, he wasn't real good. He woke up with a bit of a cough this one. Cold air wasn't good for you, was it? That's all right. Came for a good day? Firewood? Yes. Chainsaw? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mar marshmallows tonight? Oh, yes, firewood. Yeah. What did you just say, Bill? Can you use the chainsaw? No, you can't use the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Brekkie on the Weber doesn't get much better than bacon and eggs, but it's pretty hard to cook an egg on the bloody standing grill they give you. I know you can get hot plates that you change out and all that sort of stuff, but it's just more weight and stuff I need to carry. Anyway, some barbecue shop had this stuff um, and I just cut it to the shape of here so I can use it for the whole hot plate if I want to uh, and cook like stuff with marinade or whatever or eggs like I'm about to do but all I do is flip it over like that so I can cook the bacon on the grill side and the eggs on that side and I'll tell you what it comes up a treat so I'll fire this up it does take a while to preheat this but then um, yeah they go good you don't even have to flip them they come out perfect Breakfast eggs. Once your bacon's half cooked, crack all your eggs on. They'll sit in the corner there. If your van was super level, it'd be even better. But anyway, that's it. I'm pretty hungry today, so I'm gonna smack into three of these. You bet can have two. Oh, look at that. Put the lid down, and they'll be ready in about four or five minutes. And this is how they come out. If that's not the perfect breakfast They're egg. really good. I don't know what is, mate, hey? That, Bit of bacon, piece of toast and some avo. Happy day. And that's us. And then yeah. look at this for a day. We'll move the van, we'll set up somewhere different. See that in and then trees, we'll go and get some firewood and show you around the joint. But first, bacon. Today we're gonna to go for a bit of a run around the park, but as always, it doesn't matter where we are, we've got schoolwork to do. Schoolwork's gonna be done even when in the bush. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, that's it, we'll do an hour and a half of this this morning. Yeah. Uh, Charlie's just kicked off with the boys too. She's doing some prep work and the lads are doing their reading and writing. Mm. And um, then we'll make a bit of lunch and we'll head off and sort of do a bit of an explore. We are, we're gonna go hit the tracks actually. So I'll just drop the tires down. And if you've seen our vids before, I just use a quickie tire deflator from ARB. You just have to use a little brass stem to pull the valve out and then you can dump the air down to whatever pressure you want. Righto, this is the first time we've had the truck in full drive and we are just leaving the homestead at Land Cruiser Mountain Park. We're just going to go on a little trip. We're not going too far, nothing too crazy, but we want to go and check out a spot called Cower Falls and just do a few tracks to break in the cruiser, learn what all the switches and buttons do along the way. And um, we've still got the tinny on top, so there won't be nothing too crazy today. parked up and we're going to walk in to see Cow Falls. I don't know if there'll be any falls but there should still be a bit of water in there. Apparently it's 36 foot deep or something, the swimming hole. Down this little valley here, kids are pumped. You'll fall over in there. It's all slippery and gross. How nice is this babe? Beautiful. Hey? I can't hear any waterfalls though so it must be like more of a trickle. Uh, yeah, at this time of year I'd say yeah. it would be but they told me oh, at the office so it's 36 foot deep, the swimming hole. Holy moly. Hmm. Wow. So there you go. So at the end of the trail, I'll show you this, it pops out 
into this awesome swimming hole and gorge. Look at that. She's a bit green at the moment. But you can imagine this in summertime, babe. Oh my God, it'd be so beautiful. It would be so nice. You'd think it would be like really clear with the waterfall. The falls would be coming down. Oh, they'd be over here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, could it be oh, rock slide? This is stunning, eh? Hey? Wow. Very nice. A little bit stagnant end of June. But get in here in summer after a good rain. They'd be mad. Oh, I reckon there'd be blokes jumping off cliffs and everything up there. Oh, God. Look at that. That's what they reckon. 36 foot deep in the middle of that hole. Crazy, eh? Yeah. The kids so are loving it. So nice. yeah. How's that? The kids, we used, we're so used to doing this and we've been cooped up for so long. And we've noticed like the last few weeks have been getting a bit antsy. We're like, they just need to get out. <laughs> That's Cower Falls. That's bloody nice, eh? Well worth a little trip in. Nothing too gnarly to get here. So we're going to have a bit of lunch now and then we'll poke along some sort of Forby track and test out this new cruiser. So this one here is called Tracker Terrace. We've got another big flat camping area. Look at this, it's bloody nice. It's starting to get full up. It's Friday lunchtime. A couple of toilets in down there, a few bins, some fire pits poking around, and heaps of room, mate. So there you go. That one's Tracker Terrace. We'll show you the gums before we start heading back. And then, oi, what's right next door to Tracker? Gums. <laughs> Look at this. And a big cow. We missed it and a big cow, but check it out. There's like a BMX track for the kids and stuff as well. So that's epic. Right next to Tracker Terrace is the Gums Campground. All right, so your training's done. This here behind us is Telecom Hill. Oh my God. Have a look at this, would ya? <laughs> Are you actually serious? Ah, oh, I don't know if you're supposed to, I'm guessing this is probably the downside. There is no chance we would be getting up that. Wow, look at this step. I'll just give you this to, bit of perspective. Look, oh, the first step is like a meter of rock going up. There's a big sign up there, ARB air lockers. Yep, I reckon you're probably gonna need them to do anything like this. You're kidding, that's extreme? Yes. That's very steep extreme, that's off its head. You'd need a comp truck to get up that. That's scary. Imagine trying to not only go up it, what about coming down it? Like how easy would it be to roll your car? Anyway, if you want to see some gnarly four wheel driving, you're on the wrong channel. But go and search Telecom Hill at Land Cruiser Park and I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube vid that'll show you some crazies that are hitting that stuff. So, there you go. <laughs> you don't like to trash it? Not quite for you, is it? <laughs> no, God, right. no. You want to get the gate, babe? Yeah. What are you going to do? Do your button up? I know. <laughs> oh, goodness I me. I have my high waist <laughs> jeans on. I un unloose the button. Uh, I bet you so many women will say that they do that. All right, never mind. I'd just buy pants to fit me if it was me. But you ready, kids? We'll drive off on mum when she yeah. opens the gate. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah? See what she does. Put the window down. We'll say, see you, dear. Oh, dear. You grew up on a farm, darling. You should be able to open a gate. <laughs> oh. Yes, you did. You boss. can do it. Yes. All right, you ready, lads? Yep. You ready? We're gonna we're gonna drive off. <laughs> Thanks for that, dear. We'll see you at the top of the hill. Wave <laughs> 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 uh, goodbye. Oh, do you reckon we should? Yeah, and then Well, she kept down. telling me this morning that she needs to do some exercise today. So, I reckon I'm doing her a favour. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go and pick her up, otherwise uh, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Are you actually not? Uh, yeah, I'll go and get her. I'll go and get her. Yeah, we'll <laughs> How down. funny would that be? Uh, well, hey, we'll make her think that we're going to get her and we'll go again, do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Ready? <laughs> get ready, get ready for this. Okay, don't laugh. I wouldn't do that to you, dear. Don't! I'd do that! Come on, it, no, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> I was just saying, you wanted to do some exercise today. I know. I've done our workout today. Ah, oh, the kids love it, mate. It's so funny. Funny. <laughs>
<laughs> thanks for the backup, guys. <laughs> ah, thanks for the laugh, dear. You're a good sport. You're lucky. You're very lucky. Hey, I'm intrigued, mate, as to what you're making here. Can you explain it to me? It's just a sword. It's a sword, is it? Well, it's so, uh, this is the handle. Mm -hmm. That's the tip. I'm making the tip. Mm -hmm. I finished the handle. There you go. That. Now I just gotta do this. Is it like special for like dragon slaying or anything like that? Or? Nah, it's just like a sword, <laughs> baby sword, like a baby sword. <clears throat> nah, it's just a sword that we kind of, we play with sticks a lot and we play warriors or and the weapons or whatever, we just, yeah, it's tough, so <laughs> I'm making this. <laughs> You've had a fair bit of practice at this point. Yeah. What's your sword look like, Charlie Bear? Is that yours there? It's a fishing rod, she Are says. you sharpening that up, are you? Yeah. yeah. It's a fishing rod, she says. And we need, hey Bill, you're my best ninja. Where, where's your weapons? What do you got? Uh, hey, I'm the best ninja here, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, oh, I, I need to build lessons or karate. Can you prove it? How are we going to prove it? Let's make a ninja course. Come on. We've already oh, made one. <laughs> We've already found a ninja cord. Oh, well, you better show me then. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Sword. You got a couple. You've always got a couple of weapons, you do. I oh, know, no, no that, that's his favourite. You get to spin around. Mm. But Billy, that means you have to get. And I've a got a transfer. I can turn it into whatever I want. But Billy, <laughs> but Billy, if you want this Careful, weapon. Careful, Bill, you're just about to hit your sister in the face Billy, with it then. Billy, if you want. You don't want to get your camera on fire. Going down. Just this one. Yeah, yeah, got it on. Oh, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looked like you enjoyed that one. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What flavor was it? Raspberry. <laughs> good answer. Raspberry. Raspberry. Well, here we go. Just got to let it go a bit. <laughs> See, you can see the, the goo like going down. Oh yeah. Mm. And then what? Yeah, just eat just it. Just jam it in. Mm. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey, the piece of the resistance. Uh, I'm about to put it in the camp oven. So I've dried it out for a couple of hours. Plenty of salt on top, plenty of paper towel. And mate, it looks, oh, I can't even explain it. It looks so good. But I've got the camp oven preheated. Now I've got a couple of fires going on a few different things. Now I've got a little clip, oh ouch, a little clip here. That'll pull the lid off. So we put this one on and we'll take the lid off for a second. Oh Jesus, look at that. Put that down there so we don't put any stuff on it. And then I'm gonna drop this. Now I've got oil on the bottom of that. I've got a trivet in the bottom of the, the pan here. And we're gonna, oh, put him down. And we're gonna put that straight back in. Now, the idea behind it, from what I gather, is not to look at it for about an hour, just to get that pork crackling really going. And then if I get the crackle right, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'll take the crackle off it, and put it um, on the rack there, and hang it over another fire, just to get it perfect. And then I'll put all my veggies and stuff on top of the meat. So. Just wait, we'll see what happens. Hey, I'm still a fair amateur at this camp cooking game, but it's fun, it's so much fun. And if you love eating as much as my wife does, then uh, <laughs> then, <laughs> then you'll be keen, eh? Because if I make a good meal, hey, it's a win-win situation come bedtime. Ooh, this looks all right, mate. I know, all right, delicious. All right, I'll pass this over to you and I'll show everyone what's going on, eh? Why can't I do it? Mate, it's just, it's not a job for the amateur, all right? Oh just... my God. <laughs> So what I've done right, the camp oven's been going for a while. I'll show you the crackle in a minute. I've just pulled it off. And then I put my veggie ring on top. So, there's the stainless steel veggie ring that sits on top. There's our roast beef, minus the pork crackle. Now, I've burnt a bit of the top of it, only because the lid of that is touching it. So it's sort of just burnt the top of it. But it's all right, it'll go all right. Now, this has been on for an hour and a bit. And then I throw all my veggies on around the ring here so if you've ever tried to do one of these before what happens 
is if you leave the pork crackle on and then throw the veggies on, it all starts to steam and you lose your pork crackling, right? So if I just take the crackle off, I'm gonna sit it on the rack on top of the fire, just keep it nice and crispy, keep it going. It's a bit of an entree. And then all these beautiful veggies don't ruin your pork crackle. Anyway, inside here, there's a bit of a ring, which is a riser, which I should have put on before. I wouldn't have burnt me pork crack on, damn it. Anyway, that goes there. And then, the lid goes back on top. Throw the whole lot back on top. Oh. And we'll keep that going, slow cooking, for about an hour, hour and a half. All the veggies will be delicious and the meat will just be bang on. I'll give this to you, dear. I'm gonna bring the dinner in and show everyone how it's turned out. Keen for that? All right, you just hang on to that, all right? Big job, I know, but you know, you gotta, someone's gotta do it. Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness, have a look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, that's a feast. What do you reckon? Look at that. This is my camp oven roast beef with pork crackle. Now listen, listen. Knock, knock. We got pork crackle. Have a look at that, would ya? Oh, it's delicious. And then look at this. Oh, lovely tender roast beef. It's been soaking in pork fat for the last three hours. Anyway, a few veg, a bit of gravy. I just run this stuff, so we just boiled a bit of uh, roast meat gravy. I've never been one to make our own gravy out of the pan drippings. It's all too hard. So, a bit of boiling water, mix that up. A few veggies, and we're away, mate. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, that brings us to an end of our little stay at Land Cruiser Mountain Park. Beautiful spot here. We just finished packing up. Yeah, ah, look at this. Away, what a morning. Eh? It wasn't as cold last night. Beautiful misty morning. And the fire last night was a specky. Um, we're all packed up, ready to go. Just got to tuck the chairs in. I'll take you inside and talk to the missus. Because we've got a little bit of a trick that we do before we leave sometimes, don't we? Sorry? The washing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> at the moment, uh, well, we're getting lower water, but we know we're topping up today. We're probably going to go into town and grab some water. So yep. the trick is to do all your washing now. Before you leave. Yeah. That way you can top up your tanks on the way to your next free camp. And as soon as you get there, you can hang your washing out. Oh, there you go. So if you do end up staying somewhere at your next stop for a bit longer, then you're not wasting 20, 25 litres of water on washing. How good's that? There you so go. I'm on my second load at the minute. Killer. It's nearly done. Put on my third load. I'm just telling then... them we're getting ready to go. So from here we're going to duck into a place called Kingaroy, which we haven't been before. It's the home of the peanut, they reckon, which is probably suit you. Well, I was just about <laughs> to say it'll suit you. But uh, I've just been walking around showing them we're packed up, ready to roll. But yeah, Land Cruiser them... Mountain Park. Oh, sorry. That oh, was good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, uh, we were saying like we would totally have stayed. Longer. For like the week, but um, the only thing it doesn't have for us to be able to yeah. work on the road is service. We've got brilliant TV service, yeah. but no phone slash internet, mm. and uh, we've got a lot going on at the moment, so we need to punch back into town. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd probably just hustle would, down here and so, hide. Definitely come out here if you're in the area. It's mm. so beautiful. And you don't have to like everyone thinks Land Cruiser Mountain Park. Say goodbye, dear. Bye. I'm just making snacks <laughs> for the kids. <laughs> everyone thinks Land Cruiser Mountain Park is just for the. The gnarly full drivers, you know, with big, oh, I don't know, big lifts and massive tyres and they just want to go and destroy stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not. Like, there's some really nice tracks and like we showed you yesterday, the falls, there's a lot of easy stuff to do and the camping is just crazy. So it'd be a really good spot to bring your family. Go and camp down at um, Tracker Terrace or that Gums Campground where the BMX track is and just enjoy it, mate. Just pull up, have some cool nights, a couple of campfires, a few beers with some mates. It's a bloody good spot to come and stay. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, as always, comments, questions, feedback down below. And um, that was it. Back into season two, episode one, Land Cruiser Mountain Park.
hey, next time we'll show you Kingaroy and we've got a couple of little farm camps we're going to try and find and show you as well. So anyway, till next time, enjoy guys, stay safe.